Hello and welcome to Crafting the Cryptic. Now yesterday I posted a video showing the basic rules of cryptic crosswords and cryptic clues and the clue types or the wordplay types and today I'm going to try and put those into practice by having a go at the anniversary cryptic jumbo that the Times newspapers published to celebrate 90 years of the Times crossword. So the Times was slightly slow to adopt the craze spreading across the Atlantic of the crossword, but clearly in 1930 it did so. And gradually over time, clues evolved into the cryptic clues that are standard in British newspaper crosswords today. And so this celebratory puzzle celebrates that 90 years. It's as it says at the top, 90 clues for 90 years. So it's an extra large jumbo puzzle. Now that apparently created some sort of problem with the software. So I've had to load this up in what is the time, not the times is normal software. And as you can see, the whole grid doesn't show on one screen. We're going to have to move around. Let's hope that doesn't cause us too many problems. But anyway, let's get going. One across, a strange clue. The number for today is 45. And five eight two three um this must be something to do with the anniversary 45 there quite likely refers to the clue at 45 down so or the answer at 45 down so maybe we'll come back to that let's try one down gases with unpleasant smell in flat well unpleasant smell can be bo that's a nice short synonym Flat, though, could be three letters for flat. Or maybe it's gases with unpleasant smell in. So three letters for gases. I don't know what that could be either. So we're going to have to come back to that one as well. Two then. Revolutionary poser with unknown values being tried for brain teasers world tricky again I'm afraid of the possible anagram of poser given the revolutionary or reversal um, unknown values can be X and Y or both of them perhaps no I'm not gonna hazard a guess at that maybe we'll try this 45 down and see what that was this enigmatic item so it does look thematic this enigmatic items put out along with news so that could just be a cryptic definition to Times crossword. This enigmatic item, which is... There's something odd about put out there, though. Ah, OK, cross, it means put out. OK, so it's an anagram of items, gives us times. Put out is cross in this context. And that goes along with a word for news, which is word. And we get times crossword, and the whole clue does define that as well, which is really very clever. That's an and lit clue, one of the very unusual types I mentioned yesterday. Here it is straight away. So let's go back to number one across. The number for today's times crossword. We don't quite know what that is. I don't think it is a number like 8,000. No, we're going to have to get some letters to help with that. Let's try the words that begin with the letters we've now got. 46 across. Some of our best and biggest friends win, dosh and flourish unexpectedly. Well, in yesterday's video, unexpectedly was an anagram indicator. And there's a fair chance that's going to work again. 15 letters in the solution. Win, dosh, flourish. Those are 15 letters. So some of our best and biggest friends... Well, man's best friend is a dog, and the biggest ones of those are Irish wolfhounds. And I'm pretty sure that an anagram of win, dosh, and flourish is Irish wolfhounds. So that can go in there. The I at the beginning of the clue, the beginning of the answer was useful. Now, 53 across, country is the first word in the clue. This answer is 2 and 8. And I have to say I'm immediately thinking of El Salvador, given that E. So let's see if that's right. Country girl left a party held by Queen Victoria. 
Well, a party can translate to a do. Queen Victoria's initials as queen were VR. So then we just need El Sal at the beginning. Oh, Elsa is a girl, L for left. And that gives us El Salvador. Quite complicated construction there. Let's keep going with these acrosses. For a song in Italian, what a carry on. Beginning with C. I suppose for a song can mean cheap. Going for a song. But I'm not quite sure what the rest of it is. 66. Charged to company, blessed person's expenses. Yeah, I think this is on costs, which are a form of expenses. Now, how I've got to that is that a blessed person can be a saint, always abbreviated to ST in crosswords. So, charge to is on, company is co, blessed persons is STS, and that gives us on costs. Nice little hit of solving there. Mostly... When Jumbo appears easy, oddly is gratifying. <laughs> Mostly when Jumbo appears. So the Times Jumbo crossword normally comes out on Saturday. So that might be a hint at sat. Mostly when Jumbo appears. Ah, oh, yeah. And then easy, oddly, if you take the odd letters of easy, that's E and S, letters in first and third position, and Sates means is gratifying. Uh, let's go, sorry, let's do them in order. Z, beginning with an O. Like nine and zero, for instance, neither one thing nor another to Shakespeare. Nine and zero. They're round and single digits. <coughs> nine might be a reference to the clue answer of nine, but the O is a, a bit strange. No, I don't think I'm going to attempt that at the moment. 40, 83, senior women, old, long in post, going back. I think this is doyens, which is a word for senior women or expert in the kind of feminine. So we've got old is O, that's an, a crossword abbreviation. Long is yen. And then if you put... O yen in the word send, meaning post, going back, you get doyens. So that did work. Now, 47, we've got a lot of letters here. 1930, well, as I say, that's when the Times first published a puzzle, where 50% of history is still. So given these letters, it looks like half. Uh -huh. Okay, it's not a reference to when the puzzle was first published. This is a different form of 1930, which is half past seven. And the way that that translates in the clue is half of the past is even. Half pasts even. So half of history is still or even. That's quite a clever pun. For a song in Italian, what a carry on. I still think that P is more making me think this is something to do with cheap. Oh, so in Italian, what? I think that's ch che. A. For in Italian, what? Then A. And carry on. For a song. Cheap. P. Cheap and not quite sure, actually. We'll come back to that. 61 down fervently, while well, excitedly would fit, so that looks quite plausible. Finally celebrated elite puzzling across 90 years. Well, lovely surface to the clue, suggesting um, what this puzzle is all about. But how it breaks down is that finally celebrated means we need the letter D from celebrated. We need the letters of elite we need the Roman numerals for 90, XC, Y is an abbreviation for years, and if you mix that all up, you can get the word excitedly. And that's the answer there, meaning fervently. Very clever. And lit again. Now, 
9 and 0, odd even, I suppose. Maybe that was a Shakespearean term for neither one thing nor another. Um, I would have put them the other way around, like 0 and 9, for instance, but there we go. Pretty sure that's going to be right. Strange clue. Offend Anglicans. Well, the Anglicans are the C of E or CE. Passing round half of lewd gag. Sin is to offend. Sin CE, passing around the first half of the word lewd, gives us silence. Um, 42 down. In turning up Sybil, a monastery's deviant. This is a clue type that we mentioned yesterday that hasn't turned up yet. This is a hidden. So we're looking for the answer to be hidden in the words Sybil, a monastery. But because they're, they're turning up, it's in reverse. So if we start two letters before the O, okay, so A-N-O-M-A-L-Y, anomaly or deviant. That's the answer there. So this must be cheaply, ply is to carry on, and for a song can be an ad adverbial phrase, so cheaply works. Now, 48 down. Base bachelor, quite keen for 90 minute affair. Um, base could be floor. Oh no, but a 90 minute affair is a football game, which would fit with the 8, 4 and the F something O. Base is foot, bachelor is B, quite is all and keen is game. There we go. So they've strung those different definitions together to make a very neat sentence about a rude bachelor. And that makes football game. 74 across. It's change you must accept from extremely lovable female carer. Well, there is a phrase for money you must accept and change can be money. And that is legal tender. So extremely lovable gives us the extreme letters of lovable, L and E. If you take the word lovable, in an extreme only fashion, you get L and E. Female is gal in this case, could be many other things, but that's what it is here. And a carer is a tender, someone who tends, and that gives us legal tender. So you can see how the, so the setter is playing with the meanings of words um, as much as possible. Sudden attack, somewhat uncivil, ungentlemanly. Well, again, this is a hidden. Somewhat tells us to look in the middle of the phrase uncivil, ungentlemanly. We know we're beginning with an L. And the five letters that begin with an L in uncivil, ungentlemanly, well, lunge is the answer, which is a sudden attack. Liman is there as well, but that's a different word. 69 down. Old German prince. Well, my general knowledge tells me they used to be an elector of Hanover, at least. Shocking treatment. I think that's ECT, electrocardio treatment. In part after rising. The part here is a theatre part or role. That's rising and you put ECT in it and you get elector. Three letters. House sitter concealing a plot. House sitter obviously implies somebody who's looking after your house, but in fact, in this case, it's somebody who sits in the House of Commons, which is an MP. And if MP conceals A, you get map, which is either to map can mean to plot, or a map can be a plot of something. 75 down. Drinks picked up with eardrop. Um, laps. If a dog drinks, it laps water. And picked up with ear is a hint at a homophone clue this time. So we've now pretty much covered the full clue set. And so we need something that sounds like LAPS laps to mean drop. And that can be laps, L-A-P-S-E. <clears throat> now let's have a look at the long one across the bottom. What's seen, end of Romanoff? Our one irrefutably cryptic. So, um, again, a reference to what we're doing here because the Romanovs ended in about 1930, I think. Let's hope that's right. Um, but I think in the cryptic reading of the clue, we're looking for the V that is the end of Romanov. 
and then the words our one irrefutably I'm just trying to add up the letters of that yep that is the right length so we're looking for an anagram which is what cryptic is telling us to do with them of v our one irrefutably um, and it's some sort of reference to the times crossword again but I can't see what that is and it may not be anything to do with Russians it's just some sort of puzzle reference we'll have to come back to that but we know that the anagram material is V hour one irrefutably um, and I'm afraid oh maybe anniversary Would that come out of that no there's not enough ends I like it to be anniversary. End of grammar. Oh, anniversary is 11 letters, so that's not right. Celebration? No. Okay, let's uh, get a few some more letters from that. So, this is an interesting clue. 7 hyphen 2, add dressing down. And add is in brackets there. Well, a dressing down can be a talking to. And if you're addressing someone, you're talking to them. So that's very clever. And a combination of those two ideas within the one clue. Now, 81 down, field of grass bound to need cutting. Lovely clue. The field of grass is a lee, as in the lowing herd, winding slowly over the lee in Gray's Elegy. Bound is leap in this case. And if that needs cutting, you cut the last letter off and you get leap. 65. Want to leave mark on financial institutions. Want here is the definition, and it's in the sense of having being in want, having very little of something. To leave a mark is to scar, and the financial institutions together are known as the city, so the answer is scarcity, which is a want. Now, has that helped here? Yes, I think it has, because the word... February fits in that. So I think we're looking at February Revolution, which has, which was the event that saw off the end of the Romanovs. Um, I think the anagram works. V hour one irrefutably. Feels like it gives February Revolution. So I'm going to fill it in. Slightly unusual word to go across the bottom with so many difficult letters to end words in. U there at the end of. 72 down. Let's see what we get there. Writer in The Guardian or in Le Monde? Um, well, there are writers that begin, that end in EAU. Thoreau would be one of them. Uh, was he, is he a writer in The Guardian? Or in Le Monde? No, I don't think that necessarily does work. I'm not going to go for that yet. Let's try 76 down. Like a difficult jumbo, not like the others. I think this is a reference to not jumbo crosswords, but to actual jumbos or elephants. And if one of those is not like the others and becomes difficult, it's a rogue elephant. So that's the answer there. 77 down. Twig at last, times cryptic number ones being recalled. So, again, I think, you know, clearly another apparent reference to the anniversary we're celebrating. Um, but twig, okay, so at last means take the last letters or letter of the next word or words. So if we take the last letter of times and the last letter of cryptic, that's using at last times cryptic. And that's SC. And then if you write number one in the British way, NO1, and you reverse it, you kind of get ION. And a scion is a twig in horticulture, I think. One appearing in drag, one in Pirandello. Um, the Italian playwright and novelist Pirandello was Luigi Pirandello. Uh, which I've, I'm not sure I'd have remembered on my own, but I've put I for one in lug, which means drag, and then the next one is another I, and you get Luigi. So that's helped me remember that. So 72 certainly isn't thorough. 
writer in The Guardian or in Le Monde. I don't know. That's O U is French for or. So O U is or in Le Monde. So angel, a guardian can be an angel, as in the guardian angel. And then we get Maya Angelou out of that clue, and she's a very notable writer. 97 down, which ends in O something O. Given that that's a four-letter word, it could be polo. Stick with this game is making me think that. A version you're still saddled with. So it's looking like some sort of version of polo, but... Ordinary version that uses saddles is polo with horses. There is elephant polo. There must be some sort of other animal used in this version of polo. Maybe we'll come up with that in the end. 76 across. Plant from study picked up at front of shop. Um, okay, so there's a bit of homophone going in here. To study is to read, and picked up means if you hear that, then you get read spelled that way. So I'm thinking read grass here. Ah, yes, to shop is to grass in the sense of to inform on somebody. So that's what that's doing, and the whole thing is just a plant. Now, 71 across roughly holds sibling's body. So roughly can be circa, which can be abbreviated to either C or CA. And here it's C. Holds is has. The sibling in question is cis. And that gives us chassis, which, are the, which is a body. So now this version of polo, which I'm confident about, has C something E. Bicycle polo. Okay, so that's a version you're still saddled with because even though you're not using regular horses, you have got saddles as well as mallets and a stick rather. So that gives us bicycle polo. I wouldn't have known that was a definite phrase, but I've certainly heard of the concept. 64 down, conductors in actions outrageous. That's a lovely nine word, nine letter, single word anagram. So a famous conductor and it's an anagram of inactions. For once we're using the apostrophe S, forget the apostrophe, we can do that. And an anagram of inactions is Toscanini. Um, Arturo Toscanini, I think, the famous composer and conductor. 63 across, explains and edits a clue after revision. Well, that's a lovely anagram of edits a clue um, because obviously that has to be revised. And that gives us the word elucidates, meaning explains. 52 down, ending in S something S, emergency. Ooh, looks a bit like crisis straight away. Or upset thus, besetting teacher. Or seek can mean thus, as in it was written thus, S-I-C. And if you put that around sir, who can be a teacher, you get crisis once you reverse it or upset it. So now quite a lot of short words to do in the middle. Let's see if we can pick them off. Film, facetta. Hmm. No, I don't know what that is straight away. Um, we'll come back to that. Let's try one ending in D here. Ticked over 500 large. That is 500 boxes. Well, 500 is D. Large can be L in this puzzle. That is can be IE. 500 can be D again idled you could make from those so 500 large is dl that is ie or rather that is 500 ied is boxing that dl to give us idled when an engine ticks over it idles um the film for setter i still don't know what that is so hopefully the last letter we can get there will help that 56 across, live outside rugby by backward out of town area. So this is an exurb, which is an area out of town. That's a bit of fairly recherche vocabulary. But just as you can have a suburb, you can have an exurb somewhere out of the town. 
So Liv is B, and that's outside rugby union, R, U, and by is X. In a mathematical sense, 5 by 5 is 5 times 5, which can be represented with an X. That's all backward, and you get X herb. 50 down, disturbances after polling, bringing change in Russia, or change again here means money. The Russian currency is rubles. Um, and those are troubles after polling. If you poll a tree, you cut off its top. So here we cut off the top of rubles, of troubles, and we get rubles. 70, place, mostly full of parasites to get caught in. Well, full of parasites in this case is lousy. So most of that is L-O-U-S. Court is a cricket abbreviation C. You put that in most of lousy and you get locus, which is a place. 55 down. Might the setters pull a fast one? Hmm. I don't know what that is. I would have expected this to be something like a cheater for a fast one, perhaps. Something like that. No, it's not that. 79 down. Examine origins of special crossword at 90. Quite a simple little clue. The origins of means take the first letters of all the remaining words in the clue. S-C-A-N. Examine. And obviously a nice clue surface again referencing this 90th anniversary situation. 62. Sanction attendant to find a place for 45. That was Times crossword most days. Well, it's pretty much on the back page most days in the Times. So if you sanction an attendant, you might back a page. And I think that's how that works. Now let's try 43 down. Ends in a P. Less likely to spot one putting on one's coat. Um... Oh, that's a very clever. This is a cryptic definition. This is one of the unusual clue types. And although it obviously reads a bit like talking about spying on someone getting ready to go out, what it's actually about is painting. And a surface that is less likely to spot or spatter someone putting on a coat of paint is non-drip. I mean, that's a very clever bit of wording, I have to say, because it really doesn't read like that at first. And if I didn't have the N and the P in the grid, I wouldn't have had a clue what that was about. Um, 54. What solvers are keen to fill? Grid, perhaps? Not quite keen on reflection. Keen here has two very different meanings in this clue. In the first sentence, it's the normal meaning of keen or eager. What solvers are eager to, eager to fill is a grid. But keen can also mean to wail at a funeral, for instance, or I think a keen can be a sad song at a funeral. So that's a dirge. And not quite dirge on reflection means don't quite finish it off. Reflect it, make it go backwards, and you get grit. So two very clever ways using keen of referring to that. 55. Might the setters pull a fast one? Well, this is a cryptic definition. The setters this time are not crossword setters. They're dogs. So, in theory, any dog could pull a dog sled. And if you did use setters in a dog sled, it would presumably be a fast dog sled. That's quite a strange clue, but very clever again. Um, and, I mean, really, the... The setter of this puzzle has gone out of his way to put in some clever stuff. You don't normally get this many cryptic definitions or andlets in a clue. So, 43 across. Extravagant times clue for Einstein. Um, yeah, I've got that. That's, I mean, it's hard. But something that I did know about Einstein is that he has a one-word anagram, and that's 90s. What phrase has something beginning with N before 90s? Well, naughty 90s. And those are extravagant times. Why is this a clue for Einstein? Because if the word 90s behave naughtily, it might become Einstein. So there we get naughty 90s. Brilliant clue, really. 44. Removed from board, sulked. Well, how's your draft knowledge? If you 
take a piece in drafts and remove it from the board, it's called huffing it. So you huffed a piece, and to go into a huff means to sulk. So it's a double definition. One of the types we've hardly had any of, actually. Singles that are old, at least 90. Again, a reference to 90. Um, actually, I don't know what this is. First something? No, I can't see that one. Hats off to you if you can, straight away. 40 down. Derby game involves four sort of shooting. Ooh, a derby game. Um, that refers normally to a match between local sides. Sort of shooting a stick up? Involves four. Maybe we're going to need to know what four down is, but maybe we'll, maybe we'll come back to this section of the puzzle. It's not giving me very much. Let's see if we can keep going with this word in the middle, 32 down. Feeds small numbers at college in high school. High school, I think, can be abbreviated to HS. At college can be up in the sense of at Cambridge or Oxford. That can be called up. Um, small numbers, few. Well, I do think it is something ups, um, hookups. They're feeds, aren't they? For a... Can't quite see why small numbers would be OK. No, I'm going to move on now. A game for the 45's birthday party, for the Times Crosswords birthday party. Cluedo is a game, the British version of the American Clue. And a Clue Do would be a suitable Times Crossword party. That's very nice. 36 down. There are stories from Welshmen appearing in the Times, etc. There are. What's that doing in the clue? Welshmen can be... There's various Welsh names that might appear. Um, die. That might appear in there. Stories. I'm not sure actually what that is. Let's try it. this long one. Hot wearing kilt attached to mat, it's 90 degrees. Hot can be H. I think the kit here is rig, and to mat is to tangle. If fibers mat together, they tangle. And 90 degrees is a right angle, so another reference to 90. Um, let's try 37 across. Hard test occurring at regular intervals. A trial would be a hard test, but I'm not sure why that would be occurring at regular intervals. I would be quite useful there for the down. Um, not sure. I think it probably is trial, but I don't think I know why yet. So, stories. Okay, the times, etc. are dailies. <laughs> there are stories from Welshmen. It translates here as die lies. That's quite funny. So the Welshman die tells lies. Die lies. And if you write that down, it looks like dailies. Um, 35 across. Cricket team after hotel. So hotel can be the letter H. Um, cricket. Side. Not really sure there either. Okay, 30 down ending in H. Crawling out, mostly quiet. Crawling is a wash. If you're crawling with something, you're a wash with it. A out, in this case, is away. Mostly, therefore, away is awa. And then quiet, shh, to finish off. So, cricket team after hotel. Ah, okay. Well, India have a famous cricket team. And in the phonetic alphabet, the letter after H hotel is I India. So there we go. A double definition. Pretty clever pun there as well. 24 down. Host 
nabbing posh family to help out. Um, to help out, if you step in, do you help out? Not really. Posh family, okay, so a host can be an MC. If that nabs posh, which is you, as in Nancy Mitford's you and non you, you get muck, and then you add a family, which is kin, and you get muck in, which is to help out with something. 24 across, flash detective with Latin touch. Um, mm, Latin can be just the letter L. Flash though. Millisec? No, it doesn't quite work. And I don't know which, oh, Marple? No, that's not the right detective. Right, let's uh, go back to this longer one. Meet in Colorado. I like this clue. Um, that's a clever clue, but what is it about? Colorado can be abbreviated to CO. I like this. Wow, getting a bit stuck in the middle of this puzzle now, having done quite well at the bottom. Let's go down from 25. Overheard refusals to touch kid's hanky. To kid can be to rag, and a hanky can be called a snot rag, I think. No, a nose rag, that's a bit politer. And nose, as in the sense of negative, sounds like ref nose. So they're overheard refusals, and they're touching, sitting on rag for a kid. And the hanky in this case is a nose rag. So it's not trial, it wasn't an eye there. Hard test occurring at regular intervals. Um, ah, okay, so hard is the letter H, as in a pencil. And a test can be an oral in exams. And oral means hourly, so that's at regular intervals. Four down, fateful day when leaders abandoned pair flanking demo. Well, this is Ides of March, the fateful day for Julius Caesar. And the sides of a march are the f pair flanking a demo. So the leaders abandon that and you're just left with Ides of March. So this detective ends with an M. Ah, so cum is the Latin for with. So with Latin is to be read as one phrase. So a flash is a mo or moment. A detective is a di, detective inspector. Cum for with Latin. And a modicum is just a touch of something. So 25 across. In short, why you can't ring chemist. I don't know what's going on. Oh, Nobel was a famous chemist. <laughs> Shortened. A reason you couldn't ring is because there's no bell. So we shorten that by one letter and we get um, Alfred Nobel, the chemist and founder of the Peace Pri of the Prizes. Now, meet in Colorado. I like this clue. So come across is to meet. So Colorado is CO, I is me, and like this clue is across. Like this clue. Two down. Revolutionary poser with unknown values. We looked at this earlier. Being tried for brain teasers world. So some sort of dom like a kingdom. Um, poser with unknown values being tried. I don't know. I still think it might well have an X and a Y in, but it's a bit of a guess at the moment. Right, bag for yellow, sock lay abandoned. Well, this is an anagram of sock lay. That's why that's been abandoned. And a bag for the yellow in an egg is a yolk sack. What a lovely uh, bit of defining there. Now, 20 across mentions the puzzle again. Times cryptic has bagged large one. Um... So an anagram of times, but what has it bagged? Four letter word for large? It's possible. Don't really know how that works. 16. Miss, perhaps, Loch 
with fog to the west. So Loch can be abbreviated to L in Loch Ness, say. And a fog is a haze. If you put that to the west of this L for Loch, you get Hazel. Miss perhaps implies that it could be a girl's name, I think. So that's what that is. So these gases, ho-hum. I think this is ho-hum, which can mean flat. If something's flat or boring, it's ho-hum. So a hum is an unpleasant smell. And H and O are gases, hydrogen and oxygen. Didn't see that coming. So now this looks a bit like happy birthday. And a number can be a song. Happy birthday to you must be the appropriate song for today's Times crossword. So now P something Z. This is puzzled them, isn't it? The two unknown values are Zs. So it's model ZZ up, all revolutionary, turning round. Being tried is up, because if you're up in court, you're being tried. Wow. Okay, 20 across. Times cryptic has bagged large one. I still don't really know what's going on there. And I've got most of the letters now. Don't know. If I'm just going to get an S at the end as well. I don't really know if that's going to help me much. 17 across. Came out with partner once requested. So partner once can be X. I bet that's right. And then if the rest meant requested. Came out. Don't know. Let's try the down. What could be long under end of snout? <coughs> Oh dear, struggling now. Let's go to the next one. Six down. Tira tirade sent up. Charity race. Diatribe is a tirade. So aid has been sent up, giving us dire, and then a race is a tribe. Seven down. Regularly sampled syrup. My, that's tasty. So if we regularly sample or take regular letters from syrup my, so not the first letter, but then the Y, not the next letter, but then the U, not the next letter, we get an M and yum means that's tasty. So 17 across looks like exclaimed, which can mean came out with and claimed can mean requested. So let's hope this C helps us in five down. What could be long under end of snout? Well, a moustache can be called a tash. And long can be ache. That's a brilliant and lit clue. Just have a look at that again. So what could be long under end of snout? Well, a tash could be a long moustache under the bottom of a nose. That's what that literally means as a definition. But reread the clue now as a word that might mean long under the last letter or end of snout. And ache can mean long in the sense of to ache for something, to long for it under the T, which is the last letter of snout. Really clever stuff. So, what is this business here? I haven't misprinted any letters. Times Cryptic has bagged large one. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. I think the definition surely has to be large one. But, ah, oh, okay. Right, that's a hard one. This is milestone. And again, it's an and lit clue. The whole clue works both as wordplay and as definition. These are so hard to write. So, today's 90th anniversary times is a milestone and a large one in the life of the times cryptic. So the whole clue means milestone. But we also have to use a cryptic form of times, jumble the letters, and that gives us M-I-E-S-T. That's bagging L for large on clothes, say. And then we write the word one, and we get milestone. What a brilliantly worded clue. I mean, that really is something extraordinary. Now, what do we get here? Piano master given one month by notorious landlord. Um... Man enough? 
It might fit. One month could be I know. Is Rackman a notorious landlord? I'm going to risk it. I think it's the right answer. I'm not quite sure that my general knowledge is up to knowing why perhaps Rackman is a notorious landlord. And that's probably some bit of history that I should know. Eight down. What Solver may refer to when looking up identical medical conditions? Well, Solver might refer to the Oxford English Dictionary or OED. And then you look up, when looking up, you have the word same, meaning identical, and that becomes E-M-A-S when looking up. And now we get edemas, the British spelling of certain medical conditions, dropsy, I think it's sometimes called. Nine down, many times newspaper plugs, unsettled one. Right, sorry, the clock's jumped on because I just had to deal with something there. Now, we were looking at nine down, many times newspaper plugs, unsettled one. And I didn't know what that was. And I still don't. Organ or Odeon would fit, but I don't see why they answer the clue. Let's have a look at 22 down. Insensitive request for a ring, uh, receiving different sort. So I think this is callous, which means insensitive. And I really just got that from the letters provided and that first word in the clue. But then the wordplay works very neatly. Call us is a request for a ring on the phone. And then it receives a different sort of ring or a letter O. Um, right, 38 across. Children's doctor lacking energy to work out. Well, this children's doctor doesn't attend to them medically. It's Dr. Seuss, the author. And once he lacks energy, the letter E, it's to suss, which is to work something out. Running to ground, maybe. Voracious predator turning on swallow. Uh, no, I don't know what that is, but let's go back to this clue about feeds. It's not hookups, certainly. Um, nosh-ups. Feeds, literally. Small numbers, N-O's, and then up in HS. Um, now we're getting to the bit of the puzzle where I was struggling earlier. Let's see. Forward social security packs for one. Um... I don't even know that Social Security can be SS. I'm not familiar with that, but maybe it can. Let's have a look at 31. Running to ground. Hounding? That could be running to ground. Voracious predator. Turning on swallow. Oh, down can be to swallow if you down a drink. I think this is down something. Running to ground? Down wood. No? I don't know. I think it begins down, but I don't know what the whole answer is. Let's go to this long one at 15 down. This year, keen for some cricket? Well, that's 2020. First of all, it is this year that we're now in, and it's a version of cricket. Um, the 20 overs each version. Right, drag couple pushing wife back. That's toe, meaning drag, and couple is two. And if you push the W, the wife of that, you get backwards, you get two. So many, often, many times, I still have to try and read times without a capital. So that's often, and the newspaper in the clue the newspaper in the cryptic reading the clue is the FT, the Financial Times, and it's plugging an unsettled one, i.e. the letters of one in an unsettled order. Plugging this time meaning going into. So forward, <clears throat> social security packs for one. I think this could be sassy, which means forward in the sense of rude or pert. Um, Social security packs for one. I don't know. Now, down ends with a W. Running down flow. Yeah, that's a wolf backwards after a, to swallow. And the running to ground is a noun, the down flow of something. 27 down. Only be doing this, having put away volume. 
So solve, having put away or got rid of the V volume, physics abbreviation, gives us sol. So it does look like sassy here. Why is that social security packs for one? I don't know. We'll come back to that, I guess. Um, pack. What does pack mean there? Ah, okay. So social security must be the letters SS. I don't know that abbreviation, but it is possible. And for one is say. How does that work? Well, in the for example, the meaning of for example is say or for one example. Wow. And pax just means it goes in. Right. Locals show up in nanoseconds. I think they can be NS. So that's natives. The show going up in NS is Evita, a musical show. <clears throat> Advance payments, one way to get by. Subs. Yes, subs are advance payments. One and then way is street, abbreviated to ST, and subsist means to get by. Now, 10 across, here's 90 again. 90 ton load originally transported with great diligence. Well, I think we're looking at an anagram of 90, the word, T for ton, and L for load originally. And intently must mean with great diligence. That is an anagram. Oops, I've miswritten it. Let's try again intently. Now, 19 across. Carbon coffee. Carbon copy perfectly covers a composition. Thesis or treatise are the wrong lengths. Carbon copy can be CC. No, I don't know what's going on there. Let's try the long down ones then. E and this. A case, perhaps, for charging out of old tax interest on deposit. Excise, excess. X is old. Cess is an old tax. Okay, X is out of. Cess is an old word for tax. And then bag and gauge. And excess baggage is a case, perhaps, for charging by airport officials. 13 down is to cease manufacturing warm coats for mothers-to-be. It looks like an anagram of is to cease. And tea cozies are warm cases. Mothers-to-be, I think this is a reference to shall I be mother, means shall I pour the tea, which is... A bit strange. Now, it's 1930 for Chinese. Show in Birmingham with parts exchange. <laughs> a show in Birmingham is the horse of the year show. And if you exchange two of the part two of the parts of that phrase, horse of the year, you get year of the horse. And let's assume that's what 1930 was, I bet it was. And it's another clever reference to 1930 in the puzzle. Right, so Toccata could be the com composition. CC and to a T covers or goes around that CC with the letter A. And I love that to a T, those four letters has been clued by perfectly in this. It's very clever. Now, C in singular working method, way to extend playtime, that's slow mo, slow motion. Low appears in S and MO for modus operandi. Grand Performers Final for Circus Clown. I think that's an Auguste from uh, those Harlequinade plays. August can mean grand. Performances finale is the letter E, the last letter of performance. 33 down. Right. Amen or Amen is the last word. Just what one needs is it. And yes, primarily is the letter Y. And the whole thing is an amenity, which might be the last word and just what one needs. Yes, primarily. Slightly contrived um, and lit clue there. Touching, moving letters from dog trainer. So it's an anagram of dog trainer and it's in regard to, which means touching in the metaphorical sense. 40 down, 
derby game involves four shorter sort of shooting. Ooh, I think that's a drive-by. Game here is an anagram indicator, so it's kind of game in the sense of smelly, I suppose. I don't really know how that works, but it's an anagram of Derby with four, the Roman numerals IV inside, and a drive-by is a sort of shooting. Now, what's this short one down here? Film for setter, that's layer. So, setter in the sense of somebody who sets something down or lays it down, and a film because a layer of stuff can be a film on top of it. And these singles, are these 49s? No, they're 45s. That's an old type of single, um, a record single. And at least 90, you need, if you've got plural 45s, you must have at least 90. And that's it. I think we are finished with the puzzle there. What a puzzle. I mean, tons of really brilliant clues in that. Very deliberately done for the Times Cryptic Jumbo. And I will say happy birthday to you, even with the interruption and with explaining everything as I went along. I hope that was helpful. Obviously, you should have felt free to pause and work something out as I was going through it. I am often accused of going rattling through things too quickly. But it's a lovely puzzle. Um, and it's a joy to be able to bring that to you. Congratulations to the Times. And even with those delays, I'm going to manage to submit it as long as I have completed it. Um, oh well, I'll do that in a moment, fill in the details, but just under an hour taken. Lovely puzzle. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic and bye for now.